Hey, what's up, Andrew Finex? I'm Tech Finex9 from AndrewRoots.com, and today I'm going to be showing you a ROM review your Galaxy Nexus GSM called Overdrive. So let's go ahead and take a look at this ROM, and let's see if this ROM is really for you because you're probably going to enjoy this ROM. So let's go ahead and go into settings, of course. And in here, you can see already there's a big uh, difference between your stock uh, RAM and or your stock uh, Galaxy Nexus and your um, this Overdrive RAM. You can see it's all darker and uh, it's a lot darker, and you get a blue effect, and you have these dark blue navigations. But that's not the main reason of this RAM. The main reason for this RAM is to uh, give you a lot of performance, a lot, a lot of performance, and that's the, hence the name Overdrive. So let's go ahead and go into the actual app where all the magic is going to happen for this ROM and it's called Trickster Mod and it comes pre-installed with this ROM so you don't have to worry about installing it or anything like that. So let's go ahead and take a look at this. Let's go zoom in and give it a little bit of focus. And in here you'll be able to see a lot of good things, a lot of good stuff for your device. You can see the uh, CPU stats, device information, device status. So you can see uh, how much the CPU usage is, the memory usage, the core, core 1, battery temperature, CPU temperature. So it's going to give you just about all the information that you need for your internal um, hardware of your device. If you go into tool, uh, you can see ADB over Wi-Fi, you got bootloader, lock states. So you can see it's on or off, and you can see kernel backup, which is really cool. So you can go ahead and back up the current kernel you have on your device, and you can go and restore it for any reason. I wouldn't recommend you mess with this a lot. It could potentially brick your phone. So I'd keep hands off of that unless you know what you're doing. And you also have media scan, which is nice. And if we go into general, which is pretty nice, you, uh, this is where probably you're going to be here most of the time, and because this is more of the um, not basic. Android user but more of the basic side than the other um, backing up the kernel and all that so I'd recommend you stick to this part of the app so in here you got IO control and if you don't know what this means you can obviously just go ahead and Google it you'll find tons of information on this on XDA forms and just Google in general so you got CPU frequency control so you can con uh, control your maximum and minimum CPU so if you go ahead and put your minimum to just the same as your maximum you're gonna get a lot of performance so you can go ahead and uh, do a lot of more things with your device if it is lagging but uh, be aware your battery drainage is gonna go lower um, so this uh, ROM isn't really built for the person who wants extended battery life this is the person who wants to put their phone to the max uh, without actually like burning it up or anything <laughs> All right, and you got CPU governor, so interactive, which is really nice. You got lazy, um, you got interactive performance. Performance is what you want if you're gonna be gaming, if you're gonna be hardcore gaming, gonna be doing a lot of graphic gaming in general. So uh, let's go ahead and look at the next tab. And in here, you're gonna get a specific, and this is what I like uh, here as well. Here, you can keep your Wi-Fi speed in sleep mode. So what it's gonna do, it's gonna keep your Wi-Fi speed high even, even if it's in sleep mode. Usually if your phone is in sleep mode, this is an example, this is what sleep mode is if you didn't know that. But if you're going to be in like this mode, uh, your Wi-Fi your wi -Fi will stay on if it's downloading or something like that. But the speed will decrease a little bit, I believe. I'm pretty sure I'm right about that. But with this, it'll still stay on high even when your uh, phone is on sleep mode, which is really nice. And also I like this is forced fast charge. So maybe let's say you have to go in 10 minutes and your phone is dead, right? Go ahead and turn this on and your phone will fast charge um, by a good amount. Um, I wouldn't recommend you use this all the time. It could uh, ruin your battery or your charger. I uh, just use this once in a while when you really need it um, if it's an emergency. If you just use it once in a while, you'll be fine. You won't see any effects on your battery life at all. But just don't use it often. Make sure it's turned off when you're not using it. And you also have fast sync, which is really nice. Uh, which um, it's better. Uh, you want to disable this for better battery life, but keep it on if you sync a lot and you want to sync it fast. And you got temperature throttle. You got core voltage, everything like that. No, I wouldn't really mind switch with voltage only if you know what you're doing. But it's nice. And here, which is really nice too, you got contrast, so you can actually change this. So let's go ahead and change it. We can change it to uh, set it, and you can change your contrast to uh, whatever your preference is. Oh, let's go ahead and change it to negative 24. Um, I don't really see a big difference, but it may have to be exited or something like that. Something like that. Um, color multiply, let's go ahead and change this. Let's do something ridiculous. 400. 
And now with the red, you're probably gonna see a lot more red. I'm not really sure, I'm not big on screen. I don't really know a lot about uh, screens and gamma and all that stuff. But go ahead and take a look at it. See what you can mess around with your phone, <laughs> your device with this. And um, and this is just the basic look for this ROM. That's what you're gonna be using the most of the time. And like I mentioned earlier, this uh, ROM is for performance. Please don't compl ah, complain about battery life if you're going to be using this ROM more on performance than battery life um, side. So keep that in mind. Me personally, I like this ROM. It gives you a nice uh, blue touch. It gives you a lot of um, kernels and gives you a lot of control over your kernels and what your phone is going to be do do uh, doing in general. So that's about it guys. Thanks for watching. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed this video on the Galaxy Nexus ROM review uh, overdrive for your Galaxy Nexus GSM. Thanks for watching. Uh, links below for my Twitter, Facebook, Google Plus, and link to this ROM down below. And if you're uh, interested in uh, liking me, following me, and uh, adding me on Twitter, Facebook, and Google Plus down below, like I mentioned earlier, link below down below. And if you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and like button in the bottom left hand corner, as that does really help me out a lot. Shows me you support me, and you will see more kernel reviews. Maybe I'll start doing kernel reviews. Um, ROM reviews for Galaxy Nexus Galaxy S3, a uh, lot of rooting videos, clock on my recovery, all this other good stuff for Galaxy Nexus GSM as well, and other devices as well. Thanks for watching, guys, and that's about it. Peace.